Hello, it's Marianne and today we're having a live stream and our topic is how to wear green for fall. Bonjour everyone. It seems ages like I last did a live stream. I think it's about a week. But it's been so, so, so busy. Because I did a video yesterday all about wearing green. So I thought we would talk about this topic and I brought a few of my um, of my props here to show you on camera and answer any questions that you may have. Janice, hello from South Carolina. We've got Lauren from NYC. We have David. Hello, David. Hello, everybody. Please let me know what you think about the color green. Do you find it an easy color to wear? Do you wear it all the time? Uh, do you not wear it at all? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, what do you think about uh, the outfits I created in my video yesterday? And let's get the conversation going because I would like it to be more of a, like a Q&A. You know, you have the question about green and I can answer them to you. So to start with, green is an accent color that in France we wear. But we wear green as an accent. But you will see green uh, worn by, you know, uh, men and women alike and children. But something that, you know, uh, I noticed once I went to live in Great Britain is that we seem to wear, you know, red or green and certainly blue. But blue for us is more of a neutral color. Uh, more than pink. Certainly you will not find French women wear pink very often, if at all. Pink is not uh, really um, a color that uh, French women wear. But it is... A uh, color that I came to love when I went to live in um, Great Britain. That is why you see, you know, a few pink items. Absolutely love pink. Um, but uh, letting go, <laughs> let's go back to green. Green as an accent color. So we have a neutral, and we have, you know, green as an accent and red as an accent color. But you know, I wanted to show you how you can incorporate. Uh, green in your wardrobe very easily this year because green is the one of the in colors um, Polly says actually don't own anything that is green but I love it on other people and Brandy said green is my favorite color well we have at the moment you know uh, almost opposite and you know green you have so many so many shades of green and um, I have heard some people say, oh, green doesn't suit me. But, you know, there is a shade for you. The same as, you know, red, you know, red lipstick. There's a shade of red for you. And, you know, you can have dark green, mid green, up to the light green. There are very a lot of shades out there. So the thing to do is, you know, find what is the shade or the shades. There are probably more than one shade of green that suits you. For me, for instance, you know, this um, dark green like this suits me. Um, shade a little bit lighter than this suits me. Uh, and that kind of um, khaki green uh, suits me. Oh. So then, um, you know, a few greens that I do wear. And uh, I, I, I think that, you know, it's a kind of a, a different color, something to, to, to try to wear. Um, you know, in, in winter, even in the summer, but at the moment it's for fall and winter. But it is quite easy to, you know, to wear other things with and certainly other neutral. It goes well with a lot of things. There's one thing that would not really recommend is, for, for instance, you know, uh, a green top with dark brown trousers because it, that, that tends to look like a, maybe um, a Christmas tree that is waiting to be decorated, for instance, you know. Um, but otherwise, you have uh, a lot of permutations. Uh, what have we got? Tiffany says, I actually have just added deep green and deep purple into my wardrobe for fall winter. Lovely, beautiful, beautiful. It's nice to wear colors. And purple is amazing. Green is peaceful. It is peaceful. And it is something, you know, it is a color that you do not see, um, see very much. You know, on clothes, usually green is not really a color that you see a lot. 
Sunny says, I love green. I have green eyes. Oh, beautiful. When I have the right shade, it plays upon my eyes. Oh, that must look amazing. Amazing. And Sue says, uh, when I was in my teens and 20s, green was my favorite color. I have neglected it a bit in recent years, but I'm gradually adding it to my wardrobe again, especially as like Sally and enhances my eyes. Whoa, wonderful, wonderful green eyes. Ooh, that's beautiful. So, you know, I have brought my, uh, if you have, um, you know, questions about green, please post them below this uh, video. But I wanted to show you the, the my props, <laughs> the items I showed in the video yesterday. Please let me know if you watched the video yesterday, if you enjoyed it and which outfit was your favorite. But this scarf, absolutely, obvious. I bought it last year. It is no longer for sale. Um, but it's beautiful, it is in silk, it's by Jules, J-O-U-L-E-S. Uh, but look at those flowers and that green, this is absolutely amazing. So you have a print like this with dark, with khaki green. And you have white, you have light pink, you have red, you have navy, that could be black. You know, so you can wear this with colors that you see in this scarf. So it's really uh, quite a bright scarf but that can be worn with many, many clothes, even gray. So something like this is a versatile item. You can wear in many, many ways. It is absolutely beautiful. That is a beautiful scarf. Uh, you know, when I look at this scarf, I smile. Um, you know, I love touching it because that silk is really soft. It's absolutely gorgeous to wear. And it's quite a big size, actually. When you see it, look, that's the width. I have not measured it, but uh, look, oh, that's probably better, <laughs> you know, look, it is really, that's the width and the length, I mean, it's just, you know, maybe 150, 1 meter 50 or something, maybe, or maybe 2 meters, it's quite long, yeah, probably 2 meters, or close, 180, 2 meters, absolutely gorgeous, and um, really unexpected, I bought it in a sale, uh, but absolutely gorgeous. Whenever I wear it, you know, um, I'm getting a lot of compliments, but it is so beautiful. So you can see, you know, even if you did not want to wear, you know, one whole item in green, you could wear something like this, you know, it contains green, it has other colors that can be worn, you know, many other, uh, you know, pieces in solid colors. Mary says, I love emerald green. That is beautiful. That jewel color is especially flattering. It is, it is. Emerald green is beautiful. Uh, Polly says, I love your scarf. Thank you. And David says, there's a perfect shade of green for everyone and for every season. That's right. But please stay away from camouflage green. It's not chic. It's not elegant. It's not flattering at all. And especially the, well, you know, something like this that could be, well, camouflage is a little bit um, lighter, but you know, it depends on the item as well. If you wear camouflage green in a, um, a camouflage jacket, camouflage print, that is not um, French chic. This is true. Janice, you have the most beautiful scarves. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tiffany says, I enjoyed the video. I am on a hunt for a short sleeve sweater like you showed. It is beautiful. That is, oh, yes. Uh, we'll put the link, I will put the link here for you later if you like. Actually, if you have watched the video, there is a link to that, to that sweater. It's beautiful. Below the video on YouTube. So if you go on, on that video, I put the link be, uh, earlier in this uh, thread. Uh, you put the video on YouTube. You know, below the video, you have a description. And I've put the link to that sweater. It is Karen Millen. This is beautiful. It is, it has ribbing and um, if you can see, if I can show you closer, you have large ribbing at the top, but here you have smaller ribbing. So it acts almost as a, you know, as a motif, as a print, but it is very subtle and that's something, you know, we like in French chic. And you know, I really love these short sleeve sweaters. They are so, so, so versatile and you can use them, you know, during the spring, for instance, and in the autumn, because you know, you put you can layer them, and you can even wear those in the winter again as a layer, as a 
lay you know, close to the body. So you could wear, for instance, um, a silk vest, you could wear one of these, and then you could put um, a lighter sweater with long sleeve or a cardigan, and you can put a jacket over it or a thicker jumper. You know, you can use these as layers as well. You don't have to wear these only in the, uh, in the spring. Okay, these are very versatile, very, very versatile, and they look so good. So, they, you know, you can find those uh, in many fabrics and uh, in many colors as well. Very, very versatile. And you can dress them up, you can dress them down. I'm a big fan of these sweaters. And you know, again, classic, timeless pieces. <laughs> um, what have we got? Mary says, how would you recommend styling a green handbag? I always wanted one, but struggled to style that color accessory. But you know, again, where you can wear, for instance, um, um, an outfit in, let's say, in blue, in navy, or even black, or, you know, some neutrals. Thank you, my darling. Um, my darling just brought me a cup of tea. Mm very hot again it's made it with hot water <laughs> beautiful so you know tea with marianne uh, so you you know i would have only that green accessory with your outfit so let's say you're wearing you know as i said you know other colors um but you have already that green there so i would not wear an outfit with more than one or two colors because you have already that third color what that extra color that pop of color of green um, so you could wear, you know, a grey, you could wear winter white, and you can wear um, a lighter blue, something like that. But don't go, don't have an outfit with, you know, as I said, more than two colours, because then you would have, you know, two, three, four colours, and then you have the green on top, that would be too much. So always think of the accessory in a colour, you know, as the accent colour, but you have to count, uh, because in France, I don't know if you know that, but in France, we do not wear more than three colours on an outfit, okay? What is shown, so for instance, you have three colours like this, and then you put your jacket, okay, with the jacket, does it add a colour or not? So, three colours, but that includes the, uh, the handbag. Um, so that was a very good, very good question. That's a big question about colours as well, you know? Um, you know, which colours to wear with what, with which are the colours and the number of colours, because do not underestimate the number of colours. And um, this actually, you know, I mentioned that um, in my colour course, because, you know, if you think of, for instance, an elegant woman, you know, whether French or, you know, from other countries, you know, count the colours of their outfit. You would seldom see more than three, and usually just two. And it can be, you know, um, not the. I'm not saying the shade unless there's a big disparity between shades. But you know, for instance, um, you know, uh, if you have a um, in the um, beige um, neutrals, for instance, you can have, you know, a fluctuation in the shades, but um, that would count as one. But for instance, a beige. If you have a, a dark brown and uh, white, that would count as two because it's a big disparity between the shades. But um, usually, you know, one two colors, you know, the pop of a third color. But well, I, I, maybe not never. But usually, you know, I'm, I'm about to say never more than three because more than three is no longer harmonious to the eye. Okay, but usually you will see outfits of elegant, you know, we call elegant women, usually, you know, one or two colors, usually. Um, and it is for that reason, because then it looks harmonious. Having too many colors is too busy. And you know, as you know, well, I know because I'm French, but <laughs> French women, uh, we like things that are fairly easy uh, in our outfit, and that is why, maybe that is why, uh, we wear a lot of black. Because it is so easy to get right, you know, because we don't like to get it wrong. Because style for us in France is very important, um, very, very important, very serious. This is not something to laugh about. And um, so, you know, if we tend to wear black, you know, it is 
easy to get right it is very difficult to get it wrong to be honest so we can wear no black uh, ensemble for instance you know of an evening long black dress black shoes done easy you can wear gold um, jewelry or you can wear silver jewelry easy super easy okay so you know this is where we tend to wear black because you know black and white for instance uh, so 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 easy you can't get it wrong um, but when you start to venture into the world of colors multicolors um, you know this with that um, it is there is more chances to to get it wrong to get an outfit that is so busy that you know that is not deemed chic that is not deemed elegant please let me know what you think um, i need my glasses again sue says i've just made my own cup of tea when i use my green bag i will wear green earrings or necklace with my outfit which seem to work well with neutrals uh, yeah mary says new yorkers love black too it counts as a color here yes yes yeah well yes i count it as a color as well it's a neutral but we you know we count it as a neutral in fr in french chic i don't know if any of you have um, been students of my color course but i talk about the french chic colors we, we we wear mainly seven colors in france so five neutrals and two accents green being the accent one of the accents don't tend to wear the other colors than those seven um that's really interesting all these um about the green so i wanted to show you my next one ah got david says an entire outfit in black is wonderfully highlighted with a green scarf a match made in heaven and sunglasses at sunglasses will conquer the world oh that will look nice definitely definitely and um i had this uh, sweater as well the long sleeve green sweater and you know, I was mentioning the buttons on the video. I don't know if you remember, if you watched the video, you will remember the buttons here. And I said these are silver colored buttons. Uh, but if you, you know, we're wearing uh, gold accessories, you can replace the buttons with gold ones. And um, somebody from um, who watched the video um, and the uh, YouTube uh, name is called Open Sesame said you could replace them with antique buttons so that's such a good idea that would look absolutely beautiful if you could find some antique buttons to wear you know to put there and you know that makes it your own that makes it your own sweater and of course you know once you know after a few years of wearing it a couple of years or something uh you know remove the buttons keep them of course and then you can you can put them on on a, on a jacket or another sweater or blouse or whatever you want so you know that's another sweater from one of the outfits that's my green dress you have seen probably a few times a printed dress and um you know this is beautiful to wear it has green black and white again you know wear it with uh, black so in france we would tend to wear with black to tone down the the white and the, the green and i think it's more of a of an autumnal print because it's got the black so it's dark it's got the dark green so again it's dark so um i don't think we would tend to wear white with this dress in front so we would tend to wear it with black and this is how i uh, created the outfit i put a black motor jacket with it and black steel toe heel so it looks really nice and uh, my my lovely oh, it's good this is old this is oh gosh how many years i don't know maybe maybe 10 something like this it is wool so this one is from coast that's right coast um which is wool it's so well made it's beautiful i love the detailing at the back the pleats with that little kind of belt here with the two buttons on the other side can you see properly there uh, and the petticoat, I showed the petticoat. It, it's, it's a lining, but it acts as a petticoat. It looks like a petticoat. Look at this. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this skirt. Uh, and you know, and now that is the, you know, green is in. But you know, it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't bother me to wear something that's not in trend, as you know me. <laughs> because when you have classics, you know, you can wear them even when it's not the trend. Because it still look good. So 
because you put something that is modern, you know, uh, trendy, and then uh, it makes the look trendy, more modern. So that skirt, I can wear it with navy, and in the outfits, you know, I wore a navy with it, but you can wear black as well, um, you know, or even grey. So, you know, you have um, a number of ways to wear, to create outfits with green. And, you know, again, you know, my, my advice is try things on. Have a look around. What do you have? What could, sometimes, you know, we don't think, oh, no, no. But I would urge you to try something with something else that you don't usually wear together. And sometimes, you know, it doesn't work, yes. But sometimes you go, oh, you have a really good surprise. And that gives you so many more, so many more options to wear, to create outfits and to wear your clothes. Because, you know, many women, and let me know if this is your case, but many, many women, you won't be by yourself uh, alone, many women wear the same clothes with the same other clothes. So they tend to wear the same outfit. And they usually wear 20% um, of their wardrobe. I'm talking about before a big decluttering, yes. Wear 20% of their wardrobe. Can you believe that? 80% of the time. So you have a big bulk of your wardrobe that is never worn or hardly ever so we're talking you know 20 80. of course you know before the decluttering once you have decluttered hopefully it is no longer the case <laughs> otherwise you have not decluttered <laughs> uh, please let me know um you know what you think of this and this is your case um so we're talking about green so I don't know if you have other questions about green. So will we be wearing green? Will you be buying some green pieces? Have you been uh, influenced by the outfits that I've shown you either with a green skirt? Uh, I have, to be um, honest, I have not seen any nice, really green skirts out there yet. You know, I know it's maybe uh, early days, but I have not seen. And you know, there's something I have been um, pondering for a while now, I'm talking months and <laughs> not um, minutes or days, but it is difficult to to buy to find nice skirts. Very, very difficult. So when you find a nice skirt and you love it and you want to get it, and if it suits you, fits you and everything, you know, get it because there are many, many, many skirts that, are, that don't look nice. Um, and also that there's some skirts that I would love to buy, especially the tweed skirt, kind of Gucci style, but they're so short, you know, they're, some of them are so short, they're, you know, mid-size or something. So it is not really, um, it's, too, it's too short, uh, definitely for my um, age, I think. You know, because it jars with your, you know, with your age kind of thing. Uh, too short, but if they were a bit longer, you know, even even if they were just above the knee, that would be so more wearable. Um, so that's many, many of us who don't want to, to wear something that's so, so, so short, um, cannot buy those skirts. If only they could, you know, they could um, have two lengths of skirts, two lengths of dresses. How many of you, please let me know, how many of you have seen nice skirts, but they were too short, or many, many dresses, I have seen many dresses, really beautiful dresses, too short. Why can't they bring the hem line? Again, just like trousers, sometimes you find two lengths of trousers. You know, if they could bring some dresses, you know, in two lengths. So that would be for, um, you know, for many of us who want, you know, something a little bit longer, we could be able to, um, to wear those dresses and those, skirt, and those skirts. And let me know what you think. That is, um, Monica says, green can be hard to wear depending on your complexion. Yes, because you need to find the right shade for you, Monica. That's the thing, you see. So green is the color, but you have, you know, different shades. For instance, you, know, you have the dark green like this. This is a very dark, but then you can have something really light. And you have many more in between. Many, many shades of green. So, you know, go into the light, go into the light, sounds a bit strange. Uh, you know, wear your green item, you know, close to your face, 
try to face the, the natural light to see how it looks on your face. So these uh, were really the opposite, you know, on the opposite of the spectrum. You have a very dark one and you have a very light one, but you have many, many in between. And I am sure there will be at least one shade that would suit you, if not, you know, two or three. Um, so have a look around and try things on. You know something else, because I was mentioning it in that, vi in that video that I did yesterday, how to wear green for four. If you cannot find a green color that suits you, a shade that suits you, you know, just like this. This one is too light for me. It doesn't do anything for me, but I wear it because it's a skirt. So I wear it as a skirt, obviously, in my lower part of my body, but I can wear something here that suits me. Okay, so I'm wearing it with the navy blue in the outfit in the video. So wear another color that suits you, a neutral, and then you can wear, um, you know, a shade of green, even if that shade of green doesn't actually uh, suit you. I remember talking about shade that suits you, don't suit you. Um, there was a lady, I'm talking years ago, and she came into the office wearing this um, uh, full skirt, it was yellow. And you know, that lady could not have worn yellow close to her face, well, especially that yellow. But as a skirt, that, she looked amazing. And I kept telling her every time she wore that skirt, you look amazing. And she did look amazing. Um, you see, because that yellow was, you know, lower down her body, but she wore, always wore it with something. I don't remember now what she wore it with, but she always wore it with something else that suited her hair. Um, but that look, it looks amazing on it. So you see, you can still wear sh colors that don't suit you here close to your face, you see. Please let me know if that's helpful to you. Karen said, I have not worn green for in years. I definitely don't see tweed skirts. They are all mini skirts. That's right, they are all mini skirts. And they have very, some beautiful tweed. I love tweed. Uh, boucle as well, as well. Boucle skirts, you know, kind of Chanel uh, style. Skirts, they are beautiful, too short. I mean, you know, they have these brands that I don't think that young women would wear. And yet, they're having clothes in, um, in a short hemline that, you know, older women would not wear and young women would wear. So it's a disparate here. This is what makes me feel that, you know, older women are not really um, looked after by uh, designers, because you can't really find mm, things that would look right on us. Um, Karen said, I have a hard time finding nice wool lined trousers for fall and winter. You will see some this year, the, the larger, um, you know, larger um, style trousers. You will see some this year, I think, um, because I've seen some. So um, you will find some more. It may be still a little bit early, but maybe next month they will, you'll see more um, coming out. David said, I have heard the same complaint from everyone. No nice skirts anywhere. My advice is look for nice photos of skirts and have them tailored according to your shape. Ah, yeah, that's a very good idea. Jenny said, I find a blue green. I find a blue green looks best on me. Ah, really good. Monica says, yes, it's helpful, and perhaps I'll try a green accessory. I like olive green. Does that count? Yes, olive green. Beautiful. Any green. You, know, you have so many, so many shades. So always find the one that, you know, we like to wear. And that's, you know, especially if the green is here. Okay. Um, oh, good. Fine. I have just shot, before doing this live stream, I've shot two... Um, French Chic Solutions for you, right, for you, for YouTube channel. Uh, but two from the questions from um, this page, uh, my lovely ladies, and one was from Susan, Susan James, and the other one was from Karen Cooper Long. So watch out for these two videos. One topic was about prints, how to incorporate prints uh, with your solid wardrobe. And the other one was about um, motivation to wear something nice every day. So these will be coming. So um, one maybe Wednesday, maybe one for the week after or something. Give me time to edit. <laughs> so I hope you are enjoying this Friendship Solutions video. I created the Friendship Solutions playlist. 
actually because the sphenic solutions are really you know just one one tip one topic one um one solution so it's not a long video it is you know very um watchable because they're short and they give you the solution then there to your uh, question sue says don't forget that some of us older women are short i'm just with five foot tall so shorter skirt and dresses are ideal for us it's midi skirt i have from <laughs> uh, well well uh, well said sue so well said ah oh, yes it's true so yes the midi skirt some midi skirts are really long i'm going to show you one of them I bought this beautiful satin skirt, maybe it's mid so midi length. It said in the uh, in the shop. I bought it from End of the Stories. Yes, but it's long even for me, and I am um, um, what's my height? <laughs> five foot eight. Five foot eight. So um, definitely to be worn with heels, but it is very long, almost ankle length. It's not midi length, but you know some are. You have a various. Um, Length. It's true that for midi, midi skirt, if you wear petite, you have to avoid them because that's going to swamp your your frame. So it's better to go like knee length when you're petite. So just above the knee or just below, if you like, but much longer is going to swamp your frame. It's a big problem, as you as you said. So, mm. so yes, a shorter skirt would be probably uh, just above the knee for you. That would be um, very very good for you. Okay, so watch out for these friendship solutions this week and next week. And um, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you very soon. Thank you very much for being live with me today and enjoying a coffee and tea with Marianne. <laughs> Merci. Allez, au revoir.